All right, Brandon. These um illegal immigrants. Why everybody got a nice haircut? Right. I'm not saying they can't, but this dude on the on the far right, somebody real he got a good barber. I don't think he that's not no third world country haircut. And he got a cell phone too. Damn, you got international service. <laughs> <laughs> now I, I'll go show you something. Mm-hmm. I'll go show you something. I sell a lot of clothes, right? Mm-hmm. That's a North, North Star face. jacket. That's North, a North, that's North face, face graphic. Mm-hmm. That's hundred and twenty-five dollars, Jack. How yeah, he get least, that? At least. Mm-hmm. So what? What have you? All these things, all these little clues, and this evidence. What does it? What kind of conclusion do you draw? Are they really desperate like this? It doesn't seem like it. Because if you could take take a picture of it in some parts of Africa, comparing their clothes right, to, to right. these clothes right here. And now, we wouldn't now, have any clothes. Now, I'll go show you a picture that some guys do look like. This yeah. stuff right here. Now, these guys do look like you know, the clothes a little dead. You got a little sweat on it. But watch this. You see that tattoo right here? Mm-hmm. What Donald yeah. Trump said. The game members coming over. Who right. who who he repping? Right. Where all them tattoos come from? What you know all them tattoos from? Right. But you know, and like I say, th- that's always okay for them to come over and bring gangs over here and do that. But anytime it's somebody that looks yeah. like us trying to come over here, you're going straight back. And guess what? And guess what your favorite president wants to do? Right. He wants to vow a path to legalize uh, the foreign workers who worked in the U.S. for years. Hold on. All right. Let's start from the beginning. He wants the U.S. to be open to people in every part of the world. He wants everybody to come over here. He wants to keep families together in America. And create a road route roadmap to citizenship. That's I can I can understand that. He wanna provide legalization for uh agricultural workers who works on farms, been on here for years. Also, he wants to do this. If you have a family over here, let's say you in uh Philippines mm-hmm. and you got a family over here, he wants to be able to give you a visa since you got a family over here. To come over here for free just because you got a family over here. Right. That make any sense. He also wants 50,000 immigrants for underrepresented countries to come over to the U.S. every single year. Now, people may think I'm bullshit, <clears throat> but I put the source right at the bottom. <laughs> right. <laughs> I put the source right at the bottom. Also, he says uh, the cities are having a hard time finding workers that's one of the main reasons why we need uh people to come over here all right now, so how do you feel about that i feel if the inner cities when they say inner cities they mean black people mm-hmm. so they saying they can't find no black people to work at those jobs is they just saying that Mm-mm. that's not that's not really what they're saying it that's they're trying to replace not i ain't gonna say replace us but in the workforce kind of yeah and I'm going I'm to show you how later on. We're going to play a little game with your hot dog uh, store. Now, check this out. He also, in this last bu- bullet, if you are experienced domestic violence in Guatemala, <laughs> you can get a visa to come over to America. <laughs> Brandon, what now? That's crazy. What kind of sense does that make? I don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't agree with domestic violence, but somebody getting access to the u.s because just because were. somebody's slapping them around <laughs> right now i assume this but joe biden always says that it's a lot of high skill workforce outside the country and we need those people over here now i pulled up some information to rake the world in upper education not mm-hmm. lower education but upper uh-huh. The U.S. is number one. China, a lot of people come from China. China is number 22. So what's the likelihood of those high-skilled people who rank 21 spots below us coming over here? Let's pick another one. Poland. Poland is number 26. We number one. So what's the likelihood of those high-skilled people in Poland 
mm-hmm. coming over here. And let me pick uh, Guatemala. Guatemala is 78. Mm-hmm. You think those people coming over here are really high skill? And they rank and a higher education system rate so low. Yeah. But Brandon, this is a bigger strategy. It's a bigger strategy to keep wages low. <laughs> and also to slowly get the black people out of here. But to keep but wages to, low. To get us to do what though? Just not be working and, and kill each other. Because if we if we're not working and we're not making any money, oh, you're making money. It? How? You're making money for somebody else because when you, when you don't have enough money, you give all your money away to somebody else. <laughs> and how so? You're talking about the stores or b- buying stuff or? All right. If a person got fourteen dollars an hour, mm-hmm. you think you think a person could really save for retirement and retire at sixty-two years old? No. So they could be a cog in the system, working, paying rent. Rent is two things. It pays expenses for somebody else it provides a tax write-off for somebody else mm-hmm. and it pays income to somebody else yeah so they go keep on working their ass to the death to pay you this money mm-hmm. and if they lucky the black guys will hit these streets start robbing and stealing the cops will pull us over we get arrested we provide jobs for cops because we need somebody to arrest those black boys they go to the judge the judge sentence you and with the judge, you got to have to have a prosecutor. You got to have a defense attorney. You got to have a person sweeping the building. All that stuff is getting funded right yeah. through the system. Yeah. Now, Brandon, let's play a little game. I'm going to show you how illegal, I'm not talking about legal, but <laughs> illegal immigrants keep wages low. Brandon, can you see this? Can you see this page? Yes. All right. Brandon needs to hire a person for this hot dog place and he wants to pay the person twelve dollars a hour brandon how many people can you choose to hire for twelve dollars <laughs> an hour two all right who are they mary and jane why is that brandon this is not for you but it's for the audience why is that brandon well because ed it says 15 so i'm not trying to pay 15 dollars an hour and bill <laughs> he's 13 so mm not really trying to pay them because I can find two people that will work for what I'm looking for or less. Okay. All right. Let's go to the next page. All right. Brandon (laughs) is looking to hire a person for $10 a hour. How many people can you hire, Brandon? None. What will you have to do to hire somebody? I'd have I had to come up two dollars off of what I'm trying to pay. <laughs> so you have to raise your wages right. to match the market, correct? That's correct. All right. Now, people, this is a lesson. People don't see it this way, but this is how shit actually work. Both right. sides have the power. You see, if people say, nah, we ain't working for ten dollars an hour, which happened during the pandemic, right? <laughs> employers was forced to raise their rates to get more people. Mm-hmm. All right. Now, Brandon, Biden just passed his plan. We got three more people with visas over here. <laughs> <laughs> we got three more people with visas over here. Now, we back to your $12 an hour. We back, you looking for the hire somebody. $12 an hour. That's how much okay. you got. Right. How many people can you hire? Five, it looks like. All right, you can have a five. Now, here's the thing. <laughs> you in the business to make some money, right? That's correct. If those five people was equal, equally capable of doing the job, who you are hiding? <laughs> <laughs> the one under the table. <laughs> okay. You can hire the one under the table. All right. So with, with Brandon, with this just happened, since the market got flooded, with cheap labor, right? Because you remember these people they leaving because they ain't making no money there. But right. you come over here, we got a safety net. Everybody got us being in poverty is America, it's a luxury in other countries. Other countries, that's true. You know, you watch some you go on Netflix right now and watch these water companies before the water company came in there to sell the black people water. Mm. Backyard. <laughs> them, them black people had to walk to the river 
Right, they get the water, get the water and, and they take it back. back. Right. Yes. Mm-hmm. Tell me now, Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi is having a problem now, but tell me what black person in 2022 is in America is walking to the river every <laughs> right, day. They get some water. Mm-hmm. They to boil it. They bring it back and boil it. Yes. So our standards is property standards in America is a big screen TV, <laughs> Michael Jordan shoes, <laughs> and a PlayStation Five, right. and you got and you smoking weed and you drinking. <laughs> All right, that's property in America. <laughs> so you flood the market with people who know real property, mm-hmm. and Brandon, the big business owner, he looks at it. He got to feed his family. He looks at the market. He said, "I got five instead of two people to choose for. I could choose for five, and I right. want to find the best candidate who can do the job at the best price." Right. Brandon, he ain't gonna do the nine dollars because he's an honorable person. He's gonna do the person for ten dollars. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Uh, let's go to the next one. All right, Brandon. Okay. If Brandon raises his uh out his dollars per hour, how many people can you hire, Brandon? A six. He can hire six. So you 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 see what happened? The more money you're willing to pay a person, the broader the market will open. But mm-hmm. look at this. Ah, damn. Hold on. But if Brandon can meet his minimal requirements, why raise why why raise the price? Yeah. Why raise the price? So why, wait, is, why give money away if you don't really have to? Correct. That's the thing. Why lose money? And that's with, what you're doing. With this influx of millions of people, every I won't okay, I want to say millions, hundreds of thousands of people every single year that are low skill they are ready to work for pennies mm-hmm. and they don't have the same american lifestyle that you have yet they will right. flood this market with this cheap labor and that's what the policy is trying to do now yeah because here's the thing black people y'all need we need to get a skill 71 percent of black people work low skill jobs and you vote for a man who said, I want to bring more low skill people here. The if you look at racism in America and like this is if you look at likability, mm-hmm. the least person liked is black. Right. The highest person liked is white. After white is Asian. After Asian is Middle Eastern. After Middle Eastern, it's uh Hispanics. After Hispanics, then it's black. So if if you're paying if if you if a person if, if if the white man has a job and he wants if he wants to pay a minority some money and Which ain't asian <laughs> and ain't middle eastern who's gonna be the next person who get the damn it's gonna job, be hispanic right? it's, it's gonna, gonna hispanic. be hispanic there it is and it's and it's, it's slowly coming that way if you look at the statistics the spanish the illegal Hispanic, i ain't talking about but the e we talk about illegal here. The right. illegal Hispanics are gradually growing up, and our number is gradually going down. So it's yeah. suppressing our stuff, and we got to get our stuff together. We can't be in competition with and each stay other. With each other, stay in low skill jobs. Go right here. You see Visa One, Visa Two, Visa Three. In three generations, those visas people gonna be white <laughs> because after the second generations, somebody who marries a white person have a baby with them. And then that keeps the cycle going. Mm. And they smart enough not to stay in low skill jobs. Yeah. They they become something. They be a business person. But us black people, we don't do it. Yeah. There are a lot of issues that's facing the black community from relationships between mother and father and the failure of passing down standards, integrity and duty from the lack of education or the debt load from higher education. Go to school, they say, but no opportunity on graduation day. From incarceration to low-skill occupation that marches in gentrification. Well, 
The time has come. It's time for a change. My book, From Zero to 200K, will outline the steps I use to change my social and economical status. Learn the steps I took to lower my expenses. Learn the steps I took to increase my income. Learn the steps I took to increase my credit and keep a good credit score. Learn about how I generate wealth. Most importantly, how I got God involved in my life. By the time you finish this book, you'll be ready to control your finances with a renewed vigor, knowing that you can accomplish your goals if you apply yourself and make good decisions over the long term. From zero to 200K, with faith, relationships, strippers, jobs, college, hustles, and heartbreak taught me about finance. It's a must read for every black person in America. Hit the link below and let's get to work.